Let me go ahead and call the uh, budget committee to order. Uh, we do have a set of minutes. Motion approved. Second. Motion and a second to approve the minutes. All in favor say aye. Aye. Is there any public comment before we start the meeting? All right. Uh, at this time, I'm going to let uh, Mr. Johns. Uh, I'm going to move him up to the front on the agenda. Uh, good evening. Uh, excited to come before you tonight to present uh, a pilot on a, an excellent recruitment project uh, that that we have been working on. Um, first, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a, uh, just kind of. Uh, I guess precedent. Um, so in February this year, uh, you all saw a, a presentation before you that was a, a advanced manufacturer. Uh, it was an investment of uh, $82 million um, and created uh, 355 uh, jobs at least uh, with an average uh, salary, average starting annual wage uh, commitment of at least $54,000 plus uh, benefits. Uh, we recommended that that project for a five-year proposal, which received unanimous support from the JCDB Executive Committee, and and received your uh, your all's approval as well uh, for a total abatement over the five years of just shy of two point two million dollars. So I just I give you that one as precedent, uh, just because there there's a lot of uh, analogous elements to what we're presenting tonight. Um, so this is for Project Mint. Uh, an advanced manufacturing company that is looking at um, um, a site in the southern end of the county and has indicated uh, their preference uh, for Wilson County for their um, their, their new investment. Um, the company is a leading manufacturer of energy, energy technologies, uh, specializing in cutting edge digital automation and energy management. The significant rise in demand for energy solutions has led to unprecedented growth in demand for the company's products and services placing a strain on their current operational footprint. As a result, they're pursuing strategic uh, growth while advancing product development, combining energy technologies, real-time automation, software, and customized <clears throat> service solutions. Uh, so with Project Mint, they are committing to um, an $85 million investment that would involve the, the, the construction of a new facility, which, uh, which they would enter into a long-term lease that has not yet been executed, um, and uh, that would lead to the creation of at least 400 uh, new high-quality jobs uh, focused mainly on management and production operations uh, with average annual starting wages of at least $55,400. Um, I do have a breakdown, if I can find my, uh, for this particular project. So among the production operations, um, it's estimated uh, that there would be 360 total uh, jobs in that category created uh, with an average starting wage of 51,000 plus benefits and, um, and 40 total management positions uh, with an average annual starting wage of not at least $95,000 plus benefits. Uh, great company, uh, having some exciting conversations with them on the education and training front uh, partnerships there as well. Um, so uh, similar to the uh, earlier project that I referenced for, for precedent uh, purposes, uh, you know, we that project was $82 million in investment. This one's 85, that was 355 jobs. This was 400, that one was $54,000. This is 55, six on average. Uh, we recommended a five-year pilot uh, for that project and uh, similarly are recommending a five-year pilot for this project, which was approved this morning by the JCDB Executive Committee. So with the investment numbers being a little bit higher, um, the total recommended uh, uh, abatement of future taxes that would result as, uh, as, as uh, that would come as a result of the investment, uh, a, a total 2.2, um, uh, 2.27970, so 2 million, Two hundred seventy-nine thousand seven hundred four dollars uh, over that term. They would pay the ten percent personal property tax, so they would uh, pay uh, one hundred seventy-nine, one hundred seven thousand and eighty-nine dollars of taxes that are not currently on the tax rolls, but would be generated over the life of the, the five-year term of the abatement, and of course uh, the full tax burden thereafter. 
Um, so with that, I appreciate your favorable consideration and uh, would entertain any questions that you may have. I have one question. When does the abatement begin? After they finish their building, when they start hiring, or when? They, they have, there, there's room for flexibility. Uh, this would not begin next year because the building's not built yet, right. right? So what they most likely would choose to do is wait until you know the building the equipment everything the the full investment is there so there there is a chance that there may be some taxable property that may be owed for a partial uh, portion of a year or maybe even a full full load before they choose but what this would do is is it would be a five-year abatement that we would commence really at the time of their choosing but the way our program is structured is really to, to give maximum benefit during the startup phase to help alleviate uh, the pressures that come uh, with with everything entailed with with uh, investing, hiring people, starting a starting a new business. Uh, I failed to mention, and I should have, that the state is fully committed to this project. Uh, they approved a healthy uh, incentive uh, on Monday, uh, and um, and TVA, especially with this being in the space of the summer where. The product that they uh, create will will help with energy efficiency, um, and so they're they're fully backing it um, as as well. So uh, so, yes, ma'am. How long is the long term lease? Uh, well, it hasn't been executed yet, but it will be longer than the term of the abatement. Thank you. So, Corey, uh, is there? Does the pilot program call for five years, or is the possibility of looking at something at three? Uh, so, our pilot program allows up to seven years, uh, and there's a set of criteria uh, that looks at uh, the investment, number of jobs, types of jobs, wages, and target industries um, that really allow a matrix for helping us determine where to set that. Um, so that's partly the reason I gave you the precedent of the project just from earlier this year, which that project I referenced was the Schneider Electric project that we announced in March. So great company, uh, really exciting advanced manufacturing add to our community. Um, so uh, just looking at that and saying, this project numerically, there's a little bit more benefit to the community in terms of investment, jobs created, the wages, uh, on this one, but pretty analogous. Uh, so we felt that, you know, one, the, the matrix on the earlier project informed us that five years was the appropriate target uh, for that. Um, and and uh, that's where that's where we came in on, on this one as well. And, and you know, the other, I, I should have mentioned that this project is competitive with Texas and a location abroad. Um, so that that's also something that we that we calculate, um, you know, we really just, the, our incentives are a tool to help seal the deal and close the investment, right? So there's a there's a but for inducement, and that's what we're looking at on this one. With the state and also TVA um, backing and supporting this program, I make a motion that we accept it. Second. And approve. And we have a second. Is there any other questions or concerns, comments? Yes. Um, I have a question on why we don't know who the company is we're about to go into business with. Because they don't want us to know. Right. How can we know if it's a company that doesn't? So, well, the committee knows. Okay. Um, so, confidentiality is kind of table stakes in this space, uh, especially with when you're dealing with a publicly traded company and this being. A public meeting, right? Um, having the name of the project uh, that can influence a lot of different things. Sometimes they're, the lease hasn't been signed yet. Sometimes they're in negotiation with with the landlord. Sometimes uh, you know, sometimes that can skew things. Sometimes it can tip their competitors, especially in and in this in this instance, this is not a relocation. Uh, this is in response to corporate growth. But in instances where you have a company that is relocating and vacating a current market and moving to another one. Um, you know, have a company name involved, you know, that, that can obviously set off ripple effects in a, in a community. So, you know, from competitive advantage, things like that, it protects both our community and the company and their interests until the deal is done. Uh, the, the, the name will be revealed. Right, but 
my question about it is how's this how's it not a violation of like sunshine laws that we're keeping a secret from our taxpayers it, this is protected uh, until the project is contracted and announced under Tennessee law okay that, that satisfies yes thank you I mean, you probably didn't understand it, but how long did you say the lease was? They were going to well, they, they haven't executed the lease yet, right? Really? If they'd executed the lease, then they're already committed to the investment. Why would we, why would we incentivize that? So right. you, did, you said you didn't know. Did you say, how, you say we don't know how long the, the lease we, is? We don't know, but I know from the uh, developer that the lease term that they will require will be at least as long as what we're proposing for the investments. And the and the reality. So is you're saying we're about five years, right? At least it will be at least five years. I think. But what I'm saying runs. is, that we're giving them a break, and they may leave in six years. Right. But the um, safety for us, and Mr. Johnson, please correct me if I'm sure. correct. But the safety for us is that during the period of the pilot, that uh, is in the industrial development. Okay. Uh, all right. And when the pilot's over, whoever's leasing it, it's coming out of the industrial development board. Yeah. Somebody's going to own it, and they're going to pay taxes. That's right. Yes. It's so we're Six. safe. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. that, it'll be locked in. That's what you yeah. told us. And and I will I'll add that in this instance, they're they're putting a significant amount of bear, of custom equipment that you don't just roll in and plug in. Um, that I, I I expect them I expect this to be a great viable business and a, and a sustainable corporate partner for our community for many years. Okay. Yes, sir. And isn't it correct, though, that you come in here by, for courtesy, that technically I think the board has the right to, we've given permission prior <coughs> to enter into pilot agreements, and you kind of come to get our blessing. Is, is that this so? committee has to that 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 County Commission gave the budget committee the authority gotcha. to approve. Okay. D different communities do this differently. There are communities where the, the JCDB board can approval make. is is final. <laughs> I, I like what we do. Because ultimately, this is these are county taxes that you know again not sure. taxes that are on the tax roll today, the taxes that will be but it created never comes as a county commission. But it does. You you all have the stewardship of that, and I think it's great po a policy process for 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 you all to have the final approval. With the state already looking and, and, and you know preparing for that, I'm anxious. It's got to be something else. Yes, sir. And they're they're substantially committed at a yeah. at a much higher level than what uh, what we're proposing here. Sure. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Mm -hmm. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. What one of these days? One of these days. One of these days. days. <laughs> we just think, Terry, yeah, we're getting closer. <laughs> All right. Okay. Don't don't go moving with Harvey. <laughs> Thank you. All. Aaron, uh, fund balance reports in your packet. Finance report is not ready yet. It's going to be on your desk tonight at the county commission meeting. Uh, budget amendments that. Uh, the package thick, but a lot of it's surplus property for the auction coming up, so um, not as bad as it looks. Uh, the first one um, is the TDEC grants with the uh, water departments, and we thought originally that that money was going to go directly from TDEC to the grant recipients, and turns out it's flowing through us. So uh, that's what you're seeing there is us uh, taking the four and a half million in and, and making a budget amendment to pay it out. No edge. Correct, no match. So moved. Motion. No, is there a second? Second, I've got a question. Okay, yeah. motion and a second. Go for it. Um, will we just release this money in one lump sum? As we receive you it know in. what we've been discussing the last Yes, week. sir, absolutely. As we receive the money in from uh, TDEC for the various projects, because they're getting the, the um, the receipts and things are being turned into TDEC. TDEC is transferring money to us. So, so, as we so they've done spent the money. Yes. Okay. Yes. And, well, that was where I was going. Yes. Now we haven't received the full four and a half million that I know of right now. We've received eight hundred and something thousand mm -hmm. that I know of right now. So it'll flow through us as they spend. It. Correct. Sir. Okay. That's what I'm getting. At. Anything else? All in favor, say aye. aye. No. Any opposed? 
Um, the second one, there's a lot of backup to, which is not, probably shouldn't have put that much backup on it. The quick explanation is that this is part of the uh, tornado damage uh, to West Wilson Middle. Um, the um, FEMA paid uh, $2,128,209.51, which I deposited into Fund 151. Um, it came in in July, so I booked it as a receivable. The books are closed. So uh, I should have put it in 152 because that's where the bond is. And we're going to use this money. This is just a piece of it, obviously, but we're going to use this money to pay down the bond that was issued to finish that out. Motion to second. Second. Motion and second. Any comments or questions? All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? If you're like me, you feel like this target keeps moving, but this is the latest and greatest edition of the health department grants. Jesus. I know they're $47,200. Uh, $47, and it doesn't have to come to it before we move it, right? It doesn't have to, but if, you know, if you want to do that, you can. Nope. If you're good with it, we're good with it. We've already voted. So moved. Is there a second? Second. We can have a motion and a second. Any questions? All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Uh, from law enforcement earlier, uh, other public safety training grants uh, uh, being received for to replace two HVAC units for uh, training building at the fairgrounds. Motion and a second. So motion and a second to approve. Any questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, you opposed? And the next one from the Sheriff's Department also uh, post approved an additional 800 per officer uh, who is an SRO and still employed. Motion. And this is coming from? The state. state. Okay. Have a motion? Is there a second? Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, you opposed? Uh, for veterans, they're requesting to take money from their reserve account uh, to set up a new uh, website domain, uh, maintenance training, uh, video photos, and museum and plaza. Um, so it's basically coming out of their reserve account. Motion to approve. Is there a second? Motion to approve. Second. Okay. Well, about video stuff for the museum. Could that not be partner with the tour of them? Uh, would you mind uh, repeating the question? Okay. It's a transfer fund. Okay. With a video and photo of the museum. Would that not be part of tour of them? So you want tourism? No, uh, I'm, no, not I mean, I'm just asking. It could be in partnership with tourism, but I guess what I'm trying to get at is fundamentally, what is the proposal? Yes, it could be uh, related to tourism. If y'all will pardon my facetiousness for just a minute, <laughs> in order for it to be part of tourism, the museum would actually be able to have to be open during the period of time when everyone wasn't at work. Uh, but, um, and, and I understand that can happen if you call up here and ask for a tour or whatever. Um, but, um, yes, if you wanted tourism to participate, I'm just trying to figure out what exactly is the proposal. Yes, it can be related to tourism. Oh, well, it wasn't a proposal. I was just throwing out the question. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but basically, it, it would have to be an operational hour issue. No, really, I'm just saying, yeah, I mean, it. it Tourism, it, it could, I think the Veterans Museum could be a tourist draw. Maybe it may be a tourist draw. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so certainly tourism could be involved in what capacity, do you, I mean, that's what I was trying to get at. What is, in what capacity do we relate it to tourism? Uh, you know, uh, are we asking them to pay for part of it? Are we, you know, but yeah, I mean, certainly it, it is tourist related. Museum generate income for the county? No, no, the museum is free. Um, but it would generate, uh, it, you know, depending on the number of visitors, et cetera, there's certainly not been any economic impact study. I certainly don't recommend it, but it would recommend, it would generate sales tax and 
whatever. So people came down and spent money. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can think of three departments that could be involved. I can think of IT, PEG, um, uh, tourism. Um, but the, the thing is, is that um, Veterans has a reserve account that basically was, was established when they were selling T-shirts and doing other stuff to, uh, to get the museum going. So basically, you got money that's sitting there that you can't do anything with, but this kind of stuff. So therefore, I would recommend just spending that money. Is there a motion to approve? You got a motion. Okay. All, All in favor, favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, next one's also for veterans. This has to do with the No Vet Left Behind program. Uh, so this is two things under contributions. You'll see I've listed assistance to veterans. That's where we have veterans who have a short-term housing crisis or who have a food crisis or they can't pay for their medicine or they have a car breakdown and they can't get back and forth to work. The things that are uh, that program typically assists veterans with. The rest of it has to do with the uh, gala, which is one of their major fundraising events. So moved. Is there a second? Second. A motion and a second to approve. Any other questions or comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> and the next one, what we're really doing is uh, just approving 540000 for the uh, a THDA home. Receival of that money. I'm sorry, so you're receiving that money? Receiving that money. And then we would uh, spend it out the uh, the home program policies and procedures followed uh, in terms of what it would actually do. That, what committee would that go to? You know what? I don't know that that has. Jim it never has gone. Yeah, Jim Kidwell used to run that. I don't think it ever went through another committee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Motion to Second. Have a motion and a second to approve. Any other comments or questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Surplus property. Yeah, and then you have a huge list of surplus property. Motion to approve the surplus property. Second. Have a motion and second to approve surplus list. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Maybe. Uh, and I don't know if anybody from the school system is still here. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Mayfield is here. That was that day. I'm sorry, sir. We have two budget amendments. First one, uh, 2503 for the general purpose school fund capital projects. The amendment adjusts the innovative school model budget for revision one in the E plan. It moves the instructional technology travel line as requested by the comptroller's office. It's a hybrid retirement line for the tutoring program. It moves designated fund balance funds for the purchase of land and then transfers that amount to fund 177. Also increases the architect budget to fund 177 for increased estimate. So moved. Have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Got a question. Price of land, how much? I, 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 40, I think it's 42 acres. And I think it's $2 million. It is $2 million. 42.47 million. Uh, it's in due diligence for the, the last board meeting, and then we'll know the two Any other questions? I have a question on the water down middle school. Do you have a timeline on when that might be? The only timeline, whenever I've, I've talked to Mr. Lutzel about it, would be dependent on funding, which is directly related to the uh, FEMA appeal that we currently have going. Uh, we're we're appealing the Stoner Creek portion, and then we're also we're still we haven't finalized the West Wilson side of things. But FEMA, we are really appealing to them for fourteen million dollars, and it's based on a 50-50 rule about repairs versus replacements. So that's ongoing now. Brittany Bills is working on that. She had a conversation uh, earlier this week. FEMA actually uh, 
would normally send an adjuster out. They did not do that because it was 2020 and the COVID stuff. So they they only looked at paper. Now they're going to go back and look at all of our expenditures and reports. So that's where it's at right now. But to answer the question, he, he wants to have that money in hand at the county level before he would ask for the funding. <clears throat> Any other questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Next budget amendment 2504 for the general purpose school fund. And this amendment adds the uh, state special education preschool grant as approved in the plan. So, 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 that was motion to second to approve. Any questions or comments? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Um, Mr. Chairman, can I approach the table? Yes, sir. Please, sir. I think Mr. Pitt is coming over here. Well, I apologize uh, to the committee. I want to join that last one. My schedule we had a flood leak since we've been sending supplies over there. So I apologize for that. Second thing, we're trying to get some kind of built on what I'm getting to talk to you about. We have it over finished at 3 30 this afternoon. I'm where Chris is and hope she's going over here. Oh, uh, a little history. Uh, Bobby, myself, others were instrumental in getting our Wilson County television station up and running seven years ago. Uh, when the equipment was purchased, it was low end equipment, it was not mid range or high end equipment. The intent was to have a studio over there that the equipment could be used in. The intent was also to have a mobile van that can go to Mount to Watertown, Inner School, or wherever. We have the van donated by the sheriff's department, uh, and it's used sometimes for just portability. But uh, our our television station is dying. You want, you want to give some handouts to the folks, please? Sure. Our television station died. Uh, the equipment's old and it's not repairable. Uh, one of the cameras, uh, their audio doesn't work on it. It's electronic. It's not not fixable. And it, it is low end, low end equipment, purchase low end equipment. Another camera is uh, has zoom problems. You set it up on a tripod and you're focusing on Diane Weathers, and all of a sudden on its own with nobody seeing it, it goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Diane. I did brush my teeth. Bless you. Yes, ma'am. But the, <clears throat> no comments. Bless you. But the equipment is old and the equipment is about to die. So, for two months, we have been working uh, with the technicians and been working with my old technician. I worked with the military and with the state. I had TV studios there. And the issue here is about the new equipment. We're talking about one time purchase. We're not talking about we're going to come back next year or next year or a year after or five years down the road, maybe five years down the road. But the, the equipment, uh, we're talking about is an upgrade of equipment plus stuff that ought to last us one time for purchase ought to last us for a number of years. Uh, compatibility is the big thing, and that's what we rang out today at 3 30 in the afternoon. We finished it up. Some cameras won't talk to a screen. Some cameras audio won't work to an audio board. You agree with me? Is that because it's been added to several? Well, it, no, it's not because it's been added to. They're just not compatible pieces. They don't so work. everything, sir, ma'am, okay. everything has to be rung out to be, to be compatible. And this is the final list of stuff that is compatible. So what I'm sharing with you guys tonight and requesting of you is that we upgrade our equipment so that our TV station all of a sudden in the middle of the month, the uh, recording equipment shows that there's not an up and die. Uh, and that uh, we make a purchase. The, the numbers I think came up to like fifty-seven thousand. And what I is that? Yeah, fifty-seven thousand. We rung out today with the two techs okay. over there. And what I'm requesting is not to exceed six thousand dollars. And that uh, if you guys will approve this tonight, Bobby will call the committee. We're supposed to go through uh, first of next week. Bobby, is that correct? I'll, I'll so we call the committee. We upon that. We continue upon that committee. Approval, but if we don't do something pretty quick, uh, we're going to have serious downtime, down rock. So, my request is that uh, 
this committee approved this contingent upon the cable TV committee's approval the first of next week. That is my request. Victor, bring up your mic. You've always got big requests. Fish, you want to add anything? No, I can answer any questions, but um, he is correct. The, we're down to basically three cameras. Um, I've been going out, I guess you guys have noticed, I've been going out and shooting stuff, marketing, high videos for the different apartments. And uh, two of the cameras are having serious issues uh, with tripods. Are, are in bad shape and they're seven years old they're not 4k they're very low video quality and the cameras are zooming in and out the audio is going in and out and um it is a situation where we really need to pray if, if we're going to keep a tv station a kind of tv station we're going to have to do something at some point in time so i'm bringing it to you now as a proponent for doing it and, and this, no, Lauren, I was going to ask a question. Can it come in at 189? I think it could out of the building permits. Uh, so adequate facilities tax is, is restricted for uh, items related to growth. But the building permits are generally available. Okay. So just that little amount of money, I think you probably could do it. Okay. Yeah, because the balance right now for 189 is fifteen million seven hundred ninety six thousand eight ninety five and sixty seven cents. Yep. Question. And these are actual prices that you can purchase. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. Immediately. yeah. These are all. If you look over to the side, well, it's you can't. Yeah, where you see the page. Yeah. That's the actual link. This, so I can go and. Click on it. Um, now the prices may go up at the beginning of the year, so that's why we're we're talking about. That that's what I'm getting ready to answer. We, we'll get. It'll get yeah. more expensive after January the first. So. Um, but I we've gone through every every single thing. I don't believe that we have missed anything, and these are not like luxury, crazy expensive cameras. I'm not like trying to get you know. I'm getting up to date midline cameras that should last five or, or six years if not longer and the equipment to go with it um because i think when we look at the station and, and the videos you can tell that the, the digital quality the pixels are older and it's it's i mean the, at the time those cameras were great but that was seven years ago they can't be repaired at this point um because they're they don't have a lot of value to it, um, it we're dying. We're dying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then you, you put all this together yourself. Um, on this, or was this contracted? Like no, this was myself, Billy Joe, who is a part time employee, and Justin, who also works here. So we did all this in. And we're, we would be assembling it. The three of us would be putting all of it together. And then um, I, I Jerry it. McFarland assisted me and brought Steve in uh, at no charge to look over to make sure that we didn't miss anything and that, and that everything was compatible. So we'll be doing the work ourselves. But uh, it's the, the three of us. Steve, Steve Adams uh, works, but more used for you to find out from diverse fact he lives in Lebanon. And uh, Diversified is the biggest uh, television distributor, I guess, in Middle Tennessee. They build all the uh, airplane simulators. They put in Channel 4 stuff. They just do all that. Steve's a boy. I used to call him the original boy wizard, but he, he's old like the rest of us. Man. <laughs> and I play, you know. But we ran it by him again this afternoon in the work session to make sure Camera A is compatible with the switch, compatible with the audio, compatible with the editing system, et cetera. So we'll Something make like sure if we bought this or we, we move forward, it just says it would work. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's like the reason it. Yeah, right. The reason we met at 3.30 today to make sure everything is compatible and there shouldn't be any glitches there. Right. You said what? Some, sometimes Canon cameras don't work with, uh, what's that other company we use? Mm -hmm. You mean Panasonic? No, well, Panasonic and or Black magic. Black magic. So yeah. sometimes 
you got a remote on one that won't work on the other. So we got all that compatibility to work out today at 3 30, and that's the reason I'm here and you've been just yeah. late night. So. Is there a motion to approve this? Or we can have question and answer time. <laughs> this is a need. I, mean, I do believe that this is a need the county obviously needs. So, and you said it was 15 million in that account that we had? Well, 189. I'll put in a motion that we approve this pending peg, let them review this, and send it back to us with either their recommendation or no recommendation. Why would it have well, to come back? No, it, would, it doesn't have to come back. So you pass it, it and then as long as PEG passes it, we're good. If PEG doesn't pass it, then uh, we'll be happy. So like cable TV? I'm sorry, cable TV. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to figure sorry. out who should be. Yeah, I'm sorry. PEG's sitting over the corner. Yeah. 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 My bad. Okay, there is a motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Now, is there any questions? <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Thank you all. I appreciate it. You got a lot of Thank editing everybody. to do when you get back up there, just so you know. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, you're going to call me And you're going to get me. Well, well, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, is there any other business that needs to come before the committee? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to Supplemental pay from Charlie Turner contacted me. Mike and their attorney has reversed their decision on the prior year. So it would need to start in September, 20, uh, September 1st, of 2024. And now, how do we make sure we don't want a commissioner to wind up on election year and, and take the train and not get paid? <laughs> How do we how do we make sure that doesn't happen? If they don't train now, they pay for it. Yeah, so that's the only. So basically, well, the way we'll have to to keep track of what year we're paying them for. So mm -hmm. when they, uh, so let's say for example, they do their training in um, uh, May, then we can pay them in the current fiscal year budget, no problem. In some cases, they may not do their training until after the end well, of our fiscal year. Yeah. But it's still within the time frame they, for the seat pass report. Take office September first. Exactly. And so they may they, they turn their training into you. They did it in August. And they and did they in August. Out, and say they go out of August after September first. Right. Are you still going to be able to pay them that month? Yes. Okay. And that's something about them. Yes. So September first, I was there. Yes. So what do I need to do? Resolution? Like? Nothing. I don't think. Okay. I think that's what we're actually. In the past, yeah, it was just a matter of whether we could pay for 23 24. Uh, okay. With Charlie, as a matter of fact, we need to me and him. He called me in the recovery after he came out of recovery, and Greg had a knee surgery oh, the other day. So well, he's, working he's down here to do his job. <laughs> Anything else need to come up? Motion to adjourn. Yep.